everybody. Um, my name is Claire Cunningham and I'm originally from Ireland. A very small village called Cullen, which is about 35 minutes north of Dublin. And I currently reside in Nashville, Tennessee. And it's almost my three year anniversary on May 21st, which happens to be uh, the release of my next single called Clovers. And this is what this entire video um, short explanation is going to be about. So I hope you can get the song in your life and I hope it brings you as much peace and joy as it has writing it. And yeah, so here's a little bit about Clovers. So I typically don't explain what any of my uh, songs are about just because I love to give the listener their own opportunity to um, you know, find whatever message it might be in it for themselves. And um, yeah, typically they're very self-explanatory, which I think Clovers is also, but I just wanted to share the journey to it with you all. Um, so first off, I want to thank my amazing co-writer and producer on this, Mr. Drac Gibson. He is he is all levels of amazing and if you ever get to meet him or you know him personally then you'll know um, this to be true. Uh, Drac and I were meant to um, work on a project I think two years ago and um, the project never ended up taking off uh, but it connected us and then of course we had the virus and um, Drac had wanted to maybe write something uh, Irish with me and um, with his credentials um, and he won't talk about them but I'm gonna brag on him for two seconds right now he has a long list of amazing people that he has worked with and written with and produced and they include Prince, um, TLC, Janet Jackson, uh, Flo Rida, like tons tons and tons and tons of amazing people and this is not me using this to, um, you know, <laughs> to, to put anything aside. Um, he just, he is incredible and I'm so very blessed uh, to get to work with such an amazing human being and soul. Um, so thank you, Drac, uh, very much. And to your lovely family, um, they're beautiful. Um, and his daughter, one of his daughters, Portia, is on the back in vocals. So you'll get to hear that. So I remember very well the night uh, we started writing it. I was here in my home and he was in his home. And he texted me and he said, Hey Sprite, I got a song for you. Uh, here's a couple of lyrics. Go roll, roll with it. <laughs> Write something Celtic. So um, I sent him over a quick snippet. I, I grabbed the guitar straight away. I knew there was a, a sign in there somewhere. So um, he's, he really liked um, what I was coming up with. And over the coming weeks, we were back and forth. Many laughs were had, my gosh, um, between the Irish and the American and the slangs. Um, there's just so many good, good moments that uh, I'll never forget. Um, in the writing process. So to put it very simply, uh, the song is about finding faith again and how God has always been there and always has and always will be. The very definition of God, I guess. Um, God isn't a term I've ever used, especially not in a song. Um, we don't use the word God, but um, I've always been very um, aware that religion and different things segregate people. And so I've always wanted to be very neutral in everything that I do and I write. Uh, I think that's really important as an artist in ways. I know some people disagree and say, no, you should definitely always voice your opinion. and. I think each to their own. Um, but I would never want somebody not to connect with me because they don't have the same belief system or that kind of thing. And so 
it was difficult for me to, I guess, um, admit that I was and had been saved. And I left faith many, many, many years ago. And it did, it led me down um, some very dark places, I wanna say, um, times were rough. And at times, I guess, you know, when you're feeling alone, you're actually not alone ever. But um, I didn't have what I have to lean into now. And it took some really serious shifts in life um, before, um, you know, I, I was saved. I really, really, truly was. And I'm not ashamed to say that anymore. Um, I've been working on this all week thinking, how am I going to say this to people without them thinking? But that's OK, because I still I'm only human and um, I know everybody's journey is extremely different and whether you believe or you don't believe it's okay um you know there's there's a higher source of energy uh, above us and some people call it god and some people call it source and and that that place for you is yours and yours only and um for me it has brought me the most peace ever I've ever experienced in all the years I've lived this incredible life that I've been given and gifted. And it is my duty to using the, I guess, the savior uh, that I've had come through me uh, to, to help others. Um, so I guess putting all shame aside and pride aside, and I speak about that in the song, I like get the shivers as I say this, um, that I was able to really uh, lean in. Um, and there's so much more to the life that I've had and the life I lead and will lead um, and perhaps I'll do other videos, but Clover's really um, is a song that is one that I couldn't have written without being brought to a really bad place in life to then come out of it the other side. And to also have people like Drac and I have many friends who have all been here and around me protecting me, I guess. Um, but I didn't know that. Um, so every day there's always signs and there's just so many beautiful things that I now see that I didn't. And living life from a place of uh, wonder and joy and just pure peace. And it's a work in progress. It's not like I'm just sitting here and life is perfect. It's far from it. And I don't think it ever will be. And that's OK. Um, I always tell people it's OK not to be OK. And um, something that was said one time and like really stood with me, if you go within, you'll never go without. Um, so go inward. And if you sit in silence, like honestly, there's just something so powerful about sitting down and and actually listening to what's been given to you. It's there, it always has and it always will be. And um, I'm just so grateful and so blessed to have Drac um, come into a pivotal point of my personal life um, and for God to have spoken through him and for it to all come about. And so I really hope you guys um, love it i certainly do the track is fabulous if i do say so myself um it was the first time in a long time i've ever received a song um, and cried like literally cried so hard when i heard it because it was just it yeah it was truly wonderful um 
I'm not bragging on me or anything like that. That's not what I'm here to do, but I just hope that when you hear it and maybe each time you hear it, um, there might be something in there for you guys, because I know there's people out there who, who do need saving, serious saving. Um, and because I was, um, it is my duty to go and spread the word, I guess. Um, but not doing it from a place of preachiness um, or telling you this is what you should do or no, you, you find your own way. But uh, I guess if people question it, which I have been, I still do. Um, but because of my close connection, I get signs and then I laugh. And I'm like, OK, yes, I know. Um, but if you do ever question as to is there i guess well we all use bluetooth and wi-fi and we cannot see it touch it smell it hear it um and it's there and and there's more to us than just our um physical bodies and through deep meditation work i'm starting to see a lot more uh, that's kind of yeah it's 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 all new i'm i'm a, I'm a newbie um, but people are very inviting and I've had a lot of great people who, yeah, like I said, have always been there and um, I can connect with now. And I just know personally that living my life um, through God, through Jesus, through the goodness of the Holy Spirit, um, I'm living what I want to call my best life right now. Um, some days are better than others, of course. Um, I'm no means saying that everything is great, but there's a solitude and a peace I've never had before in my life. And it feels amazing. And so this song is my song to um, my saving. And I would just have to thank everybody who um, will download it, will hopefully share it. Um, if we can just spread the love as always, that's all I want to do spread some love and um, give back to people that have given to me um, and if you are in a bad place right now um, just go within and you won't go without I promise you that much um, so yeah I want to say thank you and love you all and let me know your thoughts on it and if you want to reach out to me you can reach me. Um, I do my very best to get back to everybody. It's not always easy. I run my own show here, but um, yeah, I uh, I would love to hear from anybody who who has anything that they have questions for. Again, like I said, I'm only new back at it, but I'm fast tracking here. So <laughs> I uh, I've been told yes, like there are certain people I will have connections with, them, and when I talk, it's not as most of this has been, um, it's me physically talking, but there's a higher source coming through. So, um, and it wants you all to know that you're all loved, regardless of your sins, um, or your actions or your thoughts. Um, we are all one. Um, and yeah, sometimes we just need a little reminding. And if this song can be that for somebody, then I hope it can be. Um, love and light to you all and uh, until next time um, Amen <laughs> God bless